Hi guys, reading a public notice put together by Yahweh, dated the 1st of March 2013. The Queen Elizabeth II was served a demand by the Christ Brian Leninger Lightly Marshall to abdicate. The notice of acceptance was dated June the 14th in the year 2010. Queen Elizabeth abdicated in favour of the Christ, Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall, on October 28, 2011, when the population of the Earth reached 7 billion people. On that day in London, at 12 noon, the star directly overhead was Alpha Lac, at an altitude of 88.80 degrees. The sunlight over London was 651 minutes, which in Hebrew is to set like the sun, and in Greek it means apostleship. The Queen was 4462 weeks old, that's 4,462 weeks old when she abdicated. And that number, 4462, means Rabboni. She was indicating to the Christ her recognition of him, though she be totally surrounded by gross darkness and the evil of her controller husband, Prince Philip, an abomination. The verse John 20.16 containing the word Rabboni, which means Lord, she is saying unto the Christ, Lord. The verse number 20.16 in Hebrew means to turn over, to change, overturn, be converted and retire. Elizabeth, years earlier, indicated to the butler of Lady Diana, in a warning, a conversation they were having, she warned him that they were surrounded by gross evil and the real powers that are in control, and for him to go lightly. She was warning him to go lightly to preserve his life. The Pope Joseph Aloysius Ratzinger stepped down as Pope or the Vicar of Christ on January, February 28, 2013. He, as a man while Cardinal, was sickened by the gross filth and evil in the Church. He was head of the prosecution team to arrest and charge and remove from office those priests, bishops and cardinals found guilty of the perversions he learned of. He was stopped then by Pope John the Paul, who was elected as Pope in 1978, when the sunlight in Rome for the day was 666 minutes. When Joseph Ratzinger became Pope, he immediately started arresting and ridding the Church of the abominations from within its walls. Now, while the Christ was living in Port Alberni, BC, Canada, in the years from 1991 to 1996, he was continually in the news and the courts, demanding the Queen hand over the throne and declaring that he was the Christ. It was big news in a very small town and everybody knew, since it was front page news in the Alberni Valley Times. Kevin Annette a minister of the church, arrived in Port Alberni just after the Christ did, and he left at around the same time. He ignored the Christ then, did not seek him out, and he ignored him again in 2010, when his personal secretary was contacted and delighted to learn of the return of the Christ and promised to have Annette call after the exchange of phone numbers. It is he today who has brought the charges against the Queen and Ratzinger for crimes against humanity, and he has held them accountable for the sins and perversions of the Church of England, which is headed by the Queen, and the Catholic Church, headed by Ratzinger. The verdict of guilty that was handed down by the International Court of Common Law on February the 25th, 2013, that date being the birth date of the deceased brother of the Christ, 
Also, the date that the Pope resigned on February the 11th, 2013, was the birth date of the Christ's father, who was born on that date in 1909. So getting back to the verdict of guilt, he handed down, down by the ICCL. All church property throughout the world is to be confiscated, and a 25-year jail sentence imposed against the Queen and Ratzinger. Both have been set up to take the fall. Both are innocent of the crimes that they had no control over, being themselves prisoners of the establishment they were both head of. The real perpetrators go free, as in the case of Prince Philip, who is a pedophile, homosexual deviant, and murderer of his prey. And the dead Pope, John Paul II, beloved by the world, deceived by him. In fact, Kevin Annette, by ignoring the Christ twice, has paved the way for the beast and is judged by the Christ to be part of the beast. Especially telling is the absence of the demon Prince Philip as a defendant when the ten children from the native orphanage at Kamloops in 1964 went off with Prince Philip and the Queen never to return. Now, the Christ was contacted by William Coombs. He was the last eyewitness of the events on that day that the children went missing. He sent his written testimony of what he saw. William Coombs mysteriously died of a heart attack before giving his testimony before the tribunal. And Coombs just happens to be the town that uh, the Christ lived in before he left Canada. Prince Philip is known for his animal lusts and predatory sexual perversions, including snuff, and yet he is not among the defendants listed. The Vatican cardinals gather daily around the coffin of Pope John Paul II in the vain hope that he will resurrect. Revelation 17.11, quoting, And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven that goeth into perdition. He was shot 942 days after he was elected Pope, and he did live. 942 is the number of verses in the King James 16.11 Bible, that the word, the name, Jesus is found in. Revelation 13, 14, quoting, And he deceiveth that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. He, Pope John Paul II, had said to his cardinals, that dwell on the earth, they should make an image to him, his tomb. He is the beast, as he had a wound by a sword and did live. The number 1314 in Greek means to guard thoroughly, protect and to keep. There is a webcam in the Vatican that when the lights are switched on at 5 a.m., then the cardinals come and surround the tomb and pray. There's a YouTube video titled, The Vatican is Preparing for Pope John Paul to Rise from the Dead. John Paul II's term of office was 26.46 years. 2646 means to encase, protect, seal, cover, and overlay, which is exactly what they did, encased in three coffins. One of them was an overlay weighing 800 pounds of lead. 800 is Greek gematria for Lord. 
And in Greek it means to let down, which is what they did when they lowered him into the ground. It also means a lodging place and the breaking of a journey. Pope John Paul II was born on May the 18th, 1920, which is the birthday of the Christ's grandmother as well as two aunts. In weeks, Pope John Paul II lived 4,428 weeks, which is king in Hebrew. He lived exactly 31,000 days. When he came to visit Sydney, Australia in December of 1986, he was in his bulletproof Pope mobile when he made eye contact with the Christ, who just happened to be standing in the crowd wondering what in the hell was going on and why was all the traffic banked up. He appeared in his Pope mobile from around the corner, which was on the left side of the Christ, and when the Pope saw the Christ standing in the crowd, he froze with a look of absolute terror and horror, wide-eyed, his eyes locked, staring at the Christ in fear and terror. And that was a, a locked gaze for about 20 seconds while ever the Christ was within his sight as the Pope Mobile drove off. Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Now, the concordance listing number 4, 6 is 5516. It is the same for 100, 5516. The same for three score, 5516, and again, six, 5516. 5516 multiplied by, multiplied by four is 22,064. When counted as days and added to the birth date of January 11th, 1944 of the Christ, it lands on the date of the 8th of June, 2004 which was the date of the transition of Venus across the path of the sun, the face of the sun. And the Christ was actually in Perth, Manduran and Perth on that date to witness it and is a direct reference to the mention in the Revelation 22.16 uh, of Venus as the morning star which will be given to him being the Christ that occurred on that day. Now, the anticipated 112th Pope, which, by the way, did not feature in uh, the prophecy of St. Malachi. It was added later. It's not in his original prophecy. His original prophecy stopped with the 111th Pope. However, it turned up in a book that was published in the 1820s, I believe. It was put in there, the addition of the 112th Pope. Petrus the Roman, or Peter the Roman, or Petrus Romanus. However, Petrus the Roman combined with the name for de labor solis, which was the clue from the Malachi prophecy of Pope John Paul II. The English gematria for the combination of both of that, those names is 329. And being the sixth of the group of eight mentioned in the Revelation 12.11, the 329 means to rekindle from 2226 and 4442. 2226 is a live thing, beast, and 4442 is fire or lightning. And of course, there was the lightning strike upon the spire of St. Peter's Basilica on the date the Pope resigned. 11th of February 2013. The number 329 multiplied by 6 being the 6th Pope equals 1974 as concordance numbers from 1984, which means to give in marriage, rising, renown, also foolish, from 
the number listing 1966, which is the number for Lucifer in the James Strong's Concordance, the morning star. So it's the hijacking of the morning star. It's being changed. It's a reference from Isaiah 14:16, when the uh, writers of the Bible, being evil, changed to equal Lucifer as the morning star. So it's a hijacking. Was son of the morning. It, yes, the term was son of the morning. So it means two completely different things. Now, the distance from the Vatican to Denver Airport measures 5,555.5 miles. I'll bring up the measurement here. That, yeah, right. Okay, here it is on the screen. You can see there the distance between Denver Airport and the Vatican in Rome. Why is it significant? Well, if you remember the lightning strike on the 11th of February, it struck the spire with the clock showing that the time was 5.55 p.m., the time in Rome. It was probably five seconds after 5.55 p.m., all angelic. Why? Because... Now the Christ is revealing what it all means. So you've got the distance from the Vatican to Denver Airport, 555, 5.5 miles. And of course the Denver Airport is where the Freemason plaque was laid on March the 19th. Now March the 19th is the birth date of Michelle Nye, who is the reincarnated Mary Magdalene who herself is Antichrist and a harlot. The age of John Paul II in weeks on the 19th of March 2013 will be 4,844 weeks or 484.4, which is the height of the completed pyramid in feet with the capstone in place. So we're narrowing down to a target date for this hoax that they're trying to bring about. The target date being March the 19th, 2013. Now it's um, canon law that once the Pope has been retired and the papacy, his papacy shut down and that occurred at 8 p.m. Rome time yesterday, the 28th of February. It is again law that the Pope's seal and ring be destroyed as if he died. Makes you wonder if that was the case for Pope John Paul II. So it's canon law that the conclave for deciding who the next Pope should be has to begin within 15 to 20 days after the closure of the papacy. So that would place the beginning of the proceedings to choose the next Pope between March the 15th and March the 20th. So should they name the next Pope on March the 19th, it would fall in line with the bunny, the vessel that's being chosen to be occupied by the beast. It also indicates this date of the laying of the foundation and the connection with Rome between Denver Airport. They are attempting to promote him as the capstone, which of course is the position of the Christ. Brian Leonard, go lightly marshal. On the screen is the uh, well-recognized foundation stone, March the 14th, 1944. And just a reminder, we'll go over and have a look at a few more 
pickies. You say March 19th. March 19th, 1994. Mary's birthday. You all remember these murals. There is the... I've been through this airport three times in my search for the Christ. I sat on one of those trips. It was uh, 2006 for eight hours on a layover, and that's where I thought, well, I may as well start reading the Da Vinci Code. I've worn it there to occupy since the rest of the world had been reading with it. Reading it, and then I finished it when I got back into Australia, and then produced that painting that I ended up calling Kodesh, which was a prophecy of um, what was about to be fulfilled in my own life. Look at all these charming gargoyles, demonic. Oh, there it is, pale horse, all lit up there. Pale horse of death. This is what they're planning. It's all orchestrated by men who are totally demonised. All evil is a choice. Demons can only occupy when men choose to do evil. And demons, of course, are a creation of mankind, as they have the ability to do so. Here we go. Slaying the dove of peace. Fire. Peace, peace, there will be no peace. Of course, this is the layout in the shape of a penis of the uh, International Airport South Cargo Detail. All totally Freemason. Don't you love it? Obsessed with perversion, filth, sex, homosexuality, bestiality, and murder. And murder. So, in reading what the Pope Benedict the Sixteenth discovered while he was in the Vatican, he was appalled and sick. It weakened him. He could not handle the truth of what he discovered. The homosexual gay community that was occupying and uh, practicing their deviant sexual perversions in um, underneath the Vatican itself, and then uh, it just sickened him. Okay, so the Vac Vatican is prepping for Pope John Paul to, the second to rise from the dead, and here is the webcam focused on the tomb, the image made unto him. Now, I took this screen cap to myself yesterday while preparing this, and the time you can see is 13.32 and 14 seconds. This was the time in Rome. And 13.32 is two times 6.6.6. Six, six, six. Nothing is a coincidence, of course. All angelic. Now moving along to the Queen. Brian, the Christ, promised the Queen that he would not take vengeance upon her family understanding that they are consumed by the devil since they are mentally ill and they will be treated as patients. The International Court of Common Law in Brussels, Belgium, has announced a guilty verdict and arrest warrants have been issued for the Queen Elizabeth II and the Pope, but they found guilty on charges of genocide and crimes against humanity. This is just a reiteration because now this is a, a notice to Australia. Further, the Queen was served a demand by the Christ Brian and the Golan Marshal to abdicate the notice of acceptance is June the 14th of the year 2010. The Australian Federal Government and all state governments are hereby put on notice that these government corporate entity fictions are unlawfully operating under the illegitimate monarchy trading as Queen Elizabeth II via her Governor Generals within each corporation trading as federal and state governments with an Australian corporation number inside the nation of Australia. Australian Parliament was served with a proclamation on June 17, 2002, where all politicians or corporation employees acting, another word for acting is hypocrite, within their fictional capacities as representing the Australian nationals. They were charged with high treason and crimes against humanity. 
The charges specified the poisoning of Australian crops produced by farmers who were forced to adopt spraying with multiple poisons detrimental to good health. Producing food contaminated with various poisons, including soy and bromide in baker's flour, with the intent to cause the sterility of the population of Australia, thereby reducing the population, as well through vaccine-induced disease and sterility, consumption of fluoride within the water supply, as well as other poisons, causing involuntary medication, disease, ageing, cancers, obesity, etc., etc., and the general decline of the health of the Australian nationals. In accordance with the immoral and genocide intent of the trade treaty known as the Gender 21 Doctrine of Depopulation, adopted by signatories to the United Nations, instigated by the illegitimate monarch and her controllers. It's actually Philip who runs the UN behind the scenes. The controllers of the Australian weather causing floods and drought through the use of HARP and Pine Gap being owned by the United States military are hereby ordered to leave Australia immediately. All aircraft spraying chemicals of any kind over Australia are to be grounded and those employees of the corporations responsible under contract are charged with crimes against humanity and can be arrested by any Australian national and turned over to the authorities for imprisonment. Presently, the Australian government is on notice that all previous charges of June 17, 2002 are current and apply to every politician, either presently in office or former members of parliament, alive or dead, and further, all pensions and benefits are withdrawn. The commanding officers of all armed forces are hereby ordered to bring all Australian troops employed by the corporate defence forces home and to withdraw from any further participation in United Nations, United States of America, English or NATO conflicts. All police, military or immigration employees of the collapsed corporate entities of police service, defence forces or departments of immigration and customs are hereby warned not to enter these grounds or premises under any conditions. To do so will result in criminal trespass prosecution and five years jail. Any national newspaper, television, radio or any communications media which fails to announce the return of the Lord Jesus Christ to Australia, their owners and editors will face 25 years in jail. Brought to you by the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Lord Jesus Christ, Brian Leonard, Go Lightly, Marshall. The image in the Shroud of Turin is him. <laughs>